T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, it's T-Man 978. Right now I'm reviewing Marvel Universe Apocalypse. And this figure is friggin' outstanding. Like, I found it for probably $5 at Marshall's years ago. <laughs> like, not that many years ago, like probably 2013 or whatever because these things are regularly on clearance or on sale and they didn't cost that much more than five dollars anyway but for what you get with this five dollars like this was the price like all of these were the same price no matter what size they were like you get cyclops or you get him same price <laughs> This thing is super articulated and well detailed. It's almost Marvel Legends like. They weren't calling these Marvel Legends, but it's almost Marvel Legends quality articulation, which is freaking outstanding. Like the head can rotate, it's just on a ball joint. So that's a little bit lacking. Like you can make it look up. But it's really like you're flexing it on the ball so you can look up and can't really look down that much. The shoulder pads are like just attached to this thing around his neck with these hoses that are pliable coming out. But it's like they, they don't get in the way at all really. The shoulders can reach out that far. Here's the bicep swivel and of course they can rotate forward and backwards. Elbow joint bends hmm, slightly. I really can't tell whether it's 90 degrees or not. It looks like it's under 90 degrees. There is no in and out on the wrist, both of them. He has a diaphragm joint that does this and doesn't really have a ton of side to side pivot. But it does have, does it have a separate waist joint? No, he doesn't. This is flexible. I thought it had a separate waist joint, but it doesn't. That gets out of the way for the high kicks you can do. You can go back, not really much. Thigh rotation, double jointed knees. The knee, because how big his leg is, it doesn't really bend more than 90 degrees. And he has a rotating ball joint right here and the an ankle right here. So you can get pivot, plus you can make it kick back and kick forward so that is awesome so I think he is really cool really dynamic looking really well painted let me zoom in on the face here's the face appropriately ugly now this thing is old so you have like paint fading off right there on his head actually yeah it is fading off I couldn't tell whether it's just like silver paint there but the paint work and everything you got for as much as these things cost back in the day is freaking amazing here are some other big baddies right here Jugolosis right here is slightly retooled from this guy I can definitely tell that the hips and thighs are the same I can't really say that the arms are the same I mean he does have similar articulation the chest looks the same but of course everything else is freaking different so yeah I definitely feel like this is a guy that's worth hunting down I, were, I was buying these guys before I ever bought a 6 inch Marvel Legend and this apocalypse he stayed out so I can fiddle around with so my sons can fiddle around with like backstory I've mentioned this before but I started buying these Marvel Universe figures and I told my sons that they were for me but they could play with them so I can make sure that <laughs> after they're done they wound up putting them back in the bag that I was storing them in so that was a good idea and they're still in good shape as you can see here anyway I hope you enjoyed this look at an older figure until next time, T-Man 970, out of here. Thank you for watching. Click, click the videos. Click the videos, baby. Click, click the videos.
videos. <laughs>